my friends this is pastor Danny good morning God bless you and many of you have asked me to tell you how we are going to do this 21 days of fasting in 2021 um, and I decided to make a few short clips as you guys know I am reducing my presence social media right now because I'm working on a deadline for a book but I thought it would be good to put out some guidance out there. The first thing that we need to know is that fasting, biblical fasting, is supported by the Word of God. The Lord says that the the one of the of the scriptures that talks about fasting, the Lord says that it is to break the chains of oppression. Um, it is to set the captives free. So when we fast, we are tackling things that we normally would not be as effective tackling if we were not fasting. Um, I uh, have fasted in my life throughout the years since I was a teenager, and I can tell you there were there was sin in my life, and there were behaviors in my life that I wanted to overcome, and I prayed like crazy, and it never happened until I fasted. I also fasted for guidance to ask God to lead me in a specific way. And so let's go directly as to what fasting is. Fasting is abstaining ourselves from food. Um, a lot of people say, I'm going to fast TV, I'm going to fast chocolate, I'm going to, but in reality, uh, the way fasting is declared in the Bible is abstaining ourselves from food. Now we can abstain from food totally, that means that we have nothing to eat. And as you guys know, recently I have been uh, doing fasting also for medical reasons. Um, it, 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 there's Dr. Fong, who is a secular physician, and he recommends fasting as a powerful tool uh, to control disease, to cause autophagy. Well, if you want to know more about just fasting for medical reasons, you can take a look at my videos um, it, um, in YouTube, in my social media, they're, they're all over the place, and they are under the title um, uh, Healthier and Happier in 30 Days or something like that. So find them the information there. But we're going back to biblical fasting, and one, you can do a total fast. That means you eat absolutely nothing. Number two, you can do a water fast, which um, uh, you need to uh, to not eat but you have water and um, and then number three you can do a Daniel fast and that is a partial fast and that is a fast that you do where you're just eating uh, fruits and vegetables and no meat no starches no you know bad carbs and stuff like that um, I have done the three and my recommendation to you is that if you are getting into this fast after a long time of not fasting or if you um, have never fasted before, my recommendation would be start easy. The most important thing in a fast is the attitude of your heart. Um, um, if you've never fasted or it's been a long time since you fast, start with a Daniel fast. Start with fruits and veggies. Start depriving your body from things like meats and starches and bad carbs and just stick to fruits and veggies maybe you can do that the first week and then maybe the second week you can take a few other things um i wouldn't recommend that you go for a total fast unless you have done this before um if you are fasting you are doing a total fast please drink water um listen to your body and if you um if your body is asking you if you start getting dizzy or whatever and uh, you can put some salt in water and that can help you pick up your potassium um, you can also do electrolyte water that will help you that's what i will be using electrolyte water i will also use himalayan salt which you can get in any drugstore that picks up your potassium um, ultimately though i love uh, the, the passage that i was quoting in Isaiah. It starts by saying, the Lord talking says, the fast that I have chosen. So make sure that you are not doing this out of pride, out of stubbornness. Uh, one of the things that I've learned throughout the years is that when the Lord says, stop fasting, I have to stop fasting. Uh, there's a big difference between just being hungry because I absolutely want to eat or 
being hungry because I feel like I'm dying and if I don't eat something, I'm gonna have an accident or I'm gonna fall. You know, no, let's be wise. The, the word says that we need to be humble as dogs, but wise as serpents. So let's be wise. Um, obviously, fasting is a sacrifice, so you can expect to be hungry. You can expect to have headaches, uh, particularly those of you that are always drinking coffee or that are very, you know, or like me, who my one of my biggest struggles is sugar. We can expect that. Those are withdrawal symptoms. Our body is clearing itself of toxins and uh, there's dependency. Um, but I will tell you, fasting before the Lord will clear your mind, will clear your spirit, and it will give you power. And in these 21 days of prayer and fasting, if you live in the United States like I do, our country needs prayer more than ever. Um, the events of yesterday, January um, 5, I think, were in the capital were absolutely deplorable. Uh, several people have lost their lives. We've been praying since last year for a peaceful transition of power. It didn't matter what the results of the elections were. And um, the enemy is coming against this country and, and planting a lot of division and turmoil. And there's other people fighting in other areas. You know, there's police, there's politicians talking about it. I'm a pastor and I am going to tackle what we are currently living in the way that I know how. And that is, I am going to pray. I am going to bind the spirits of violence that have been unleashed in our country. And I am going to pray that the Lord will quiet those, those tongues that need to be quiet. And that the Lord will, the Bible says that God establishes authorities. And that all authorities have been established or allowed to be established by God. And I think we need to start believing that. And so, guys, I love you. Let's fast. We're going to be fasting from Saturday, January 9th. 2021 to Sunday, January 31st, 2021, I guarantee you, you will never be the same. In whichever way you feel led, I guarantee you, if your heart is devoted towards the Lord and you're spending time in prayer, I guarantee you, you will never be the same after these 21 days of fasting. Um, I will come back if I have an opportunity to talk a little bit more. If you are in Bradenton, we will be posting the times and of prayer. They're already posted. If you are not in Bradenton, then you can join our special time of prayer, which we will have in our regular meetings, which are also announced in uh, our pages, particularly in the altar pages in, and in the Praying Friends uh, pages uh, on Facebook. Um, and of course, you can always leave me a message Although, again, I'm trying to spend less time of social media, in particular now, because I'm not only writing a book and doing everything else I do, but devoting this next 21 days, starting this Saturday, January 9th, to prayer. Let's pray. Let's believe God for miracles in our country and in our lives. Impossible situations, impossible situations are moved by God when we decide to seek Him through fasting and prayer. I love you. Pastor Jenny. Bye.